So I had a club member send me in a roller controller that's in mint condition. It just has problems. I've been disassembling it here. And the issue we have, and I don't know if this will show up on camera, but all of these traces on the controller port are broken off. And I would say that is probably because the little plastic that's clip that holds this in place is also broken off. So it's not hanging. So what happened is pushing a controller in instead of it going straight in, the controller came loose and it went up and just ripped it. So I got to repair these traces with a soldering iron. And I'm going to do a little work on this to make it so it doesn't do that in the morning. So free repair, part of the membership club, part of the Retro Gamers Club. You're part of the club. You just contact us. Let us know what you have so we can make sure that yes, we can fix it. And then you just send it to us. You pay the shipping down here, we'll fix it up. If we have to put any parts in it, we will charge you for the parts. Otherwise, we're not charging you for any labor, the expertise, or anything. Take it apart, fix it, test it, let you know it's done. PayPal you the amount that it's going to cost to ship it back and send it back to you. Great benefit for members of the Retro Gamers Club. So this side right here has a couple of actual traces that are broken. If I can bridge them with solder, then I'll have to run a wire. But in either case, it's fixable. It's only like a minute break there, so I'm going to fix that. Alright, applying a little bit of solder did not fix the trace, which I didn't think it would. I was just hoping I could get around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some old diodes. I'm just going to use the wires, not the diodes. I'll do trim them off. But I'm going to just bridge between the two. Like that. Just to create a new permanent trace. All right, so as you can see, I bridged all the bad connections. This one, this one right here doesn't connect anything, so I'm not concerned about it, neither does that one. This one is the only other one that the trace is broken, and I was able to reconnect it with the trace and the pad, so I didn't have to run a wire over to here. But these right here have all been rebuilt using just the end of a diode, soldered on, trimmed off. So it replaces that. And it's not going to touch anything underneath, so it's completely good. And then I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to do some more testing. I already tested the tops. Then I'm going to test it from underneath here. Just for continuity, I'm going to go from this one right here. Again, it likes some more out. Down there. Good connection. This one. Good connection. This one. Good connection. Good connection. Good connection. Now this is one. Good connection and this. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you go from over here. This one. Good connection and this one. Right here. Good connection. So all the wires are connected now. So this controller plug is now functional again. And yeah, it's not as pretty as this one, but it's a lot stronger. All right. So after fixing that and putting it back together, I discovered that the fire button has broken traces here also. So it appears that somebody beat the heck out of this thing because something stopped working on them or they put a lot of weight on it and cracked it. So I gotta fix these two and unfortunately you can't just throw a little heat on them and make them connect because the pad is separated from the trace so I'm gonna have to run a connector from that one to that one and from that one to that one. This is a dead spot so I can't go there. But that's not too hard to do. All right, so as you can see, I just ran two wires using the same diode wire. It's not touching the board, so you don't have to worry about any kind of shorting. And this is very solid, which is probably good because this is going to get beat. This is a fire button. They don't have a lot of movement, and that's surprising. I thought they'd have more play to them, but they don't. But yeah, now it's fixed. Now I'll put it back together and test again.